zero you want to see with A or B. Then you can draw another line for the B here. You can draw the B at another line up.
like this, you can go to the right and then this you can uh, join together and go out. You can do like this also. Okay, up to you. Either you have all the way different out, different way out like this, three of them, or you want to combine them to one way out also, acceptable, huh? Because as long as they are going out from the right, this one, left to right. And this one. This is the first one. X, Y are all the non-terminal because it is in the bracket. You can decide. Uh, you see the bracket one? That means uh, it is a non-terminal already. So you draw it in a square box like this. X, Y. So now I separate the three different diagrams. Uh. Okay, this is the example I draw with three different diagrams. So you have X, Y, one. Second one, you have X, A. A is a terminal. And uh, third one is a substitute with B, C, Y. So here you have B, C, terminal in a side circle. And Y is a non-terminal, so in a square box. So three different uh, syntax diagram, all are substitute from the field field. Okay, if you want to combine all of them in one like this also, no problem. Eh? Okay, how to draw this? Syntax diagram. Can you try to draw this first? W substitute with A, B, W for the syntax. can have many ways to draw sometimes and not necessarily you must have the same answer with a friend huh? as long as your substitution is correct then it will be acceptable already okay so like this one the a b w here if we start with w how do you want to substitute this if straight away go to the right Remember, uh, if this is A, B, right? Don't draw like this. Uh. You want terminal, one circle. Okay? Don't combine the two together. Okay? Draw one circle A and then B and then W. This 
is a straightforward substitution [lah] you substitute straight away A B W anyone have different answer yes can also you can draw this back to W because the first one is also W right so you can draw like this [ah] this is also another way because the A B will go back to the W the loop go back to where in front If you draw the W at the back, then you go out after the W. Oh, 
this C. B, B, W, or C. Is look back to the wheel, then see it go out. Substitute with B B W B B W. So this loop will go back W, or the W can substitute with C. Then go up. Any others? I think these are all the possible ways to draw the syntax diagram for this. ways to draw the syntax diagram for this. <coughs> okay, the following one you practice again how to draw this uh, AB or ABW. You see, you look at a simple substitution, only these two, right? There are four different ways to draw the syntax diagram. So, how about this? AB or ABW? This one is subtract to 2, so this one W substitute with A, B.
So the second one, I can have A, B, go back to W. So this is the loop, A, B, W. And uh, another one is A, B only. So separate the two syntax cycle. Okay. Then if we want to combine them, how to draw? This is one of the possible way A, B go back to W or A, B only then go up Any other way? This one? Okay If you don't want to write the A, B for two times, right? Then you can straight away go up from here Another way like this You can draw like this also AB, either you substitute with AB go up or AB go back to the loop first one right we no need to draw so many a b you just draw one because you can share the a b here if you substitute with a b only and then you choose the one on the line if you substitute with a b w then after the a b you go down to the loop go back to w again and repeat a b w a b w until you substitute with a b for the w so these two alternative, if you don't want to go out from the AB here, then you go out another way, separate away for AB itself. Then this one is only the look for AB the Okay. Uh? Now these are all the syntax diagram, meaning that you can draw either separately for the different substitution whenever there is alternative then you can draw it with a separate diagram but if let's say we want to combine all these substitution even though not only w here if let's say i have another one which is v here and substitute with others then we have many syntax diagram so how do we want to combine all the syntax in one diagram now that is the diagram we call as the master diagram Meaning that you can only have one diagram if they ask you to draw the master diagram or we call it as the master syntax diagram Okay, so when you want to draw the master diagram, for example this If you only draw the syntax diagram, you can have two syntax diagram One is for V0, one is for W, right? So let's say we draw the syntax diagram first V0, I can substitute with A, W This is first syntax diagram Second syntax diagram, I can substitute with B, B, W Or C Okay, now I have two diagrams for the syntax. First one, A, W. Second one is B, B, W, or C. Now, when they ask you to draw the master diagram, meaning that you need to combine these two together. 
solve how to combine these two. Starting point is V0. So we'll go to AW first. Now, what do you need to know for master diagram is the non-terminal we will not show in the diagram. Just now for the syntax diagram, you can have, you can have a non-terminal inside there, right? So no problem for syntax mm -hmm. diagram, but in the term of this master diagram, right? We cannot have a non-terminal inside the diagram. You can only know where is the position by yourself, but you won't show it in your diagram. So like for example, here you have AW. AW, we only draw A in the master diagram, but we don't draw the W. Okay? So from here, we will continue to this, which is a B, B, W, and C. When I combine the syntax diagram becomes one, it all becomes like this. No more the non-terminal inside, except the first starting point only. Then the rest all inside one don't have non-terminal. Okay, that is the difference between uh, master and syntax diagram. So every time the question will tell you which one is the terminal and which one is the non-terminal from the set S here. So you need to see the set S, A, B, C, meaning that A, B, C are all the terminal and the non-terminal is B0 and W inside this. Okay, so this is one of the master diagram. Do you have any other way to draw? Can we draw like this? Uh? A, B, B, C. Then, can we? Yes or no? Any difference? Uh? The Diagram first left and right, any difference? One is under the line, one is on the line. What happened if I draw the BB on the line here? That means uh, I need to go through the BB, right? Then only I can go to C, right? right? Yeah. But is it necessary for me to go through the B before I go to C? No need, isn't it? So that means that this one is not correct. <coughs> because it is not necessary to go through the DB before the C. So you only need to go through either one, either BB or C. So this B is a loop, you must put it under the line. Either you go to BB or not, it does not matter. If you go to the loop, then you just go down, go to BB. If if you don't go, then you can straight away after the W. You need to know your W is here, because we don't draw it out, right? So you need to know the position of W is after the A. But then you can straight away substitute the W with C. If you don't go to the loop BBW, you can straight away go to C. But this, if you draw the BB on the line, 
you cannot straight away go to C without BB. You need to go through BB first, then only go to C. But that is not correct, isn't it? Okay. So what is the possible sentence that we can get from here? The shortest one is what is the shortest string we can get for this substitution? Shortest string, what is the shortest string? The look for ones, then you have two B only. So you have A, B, B, C. Meaning that in the substitution here, you must have A and C. If not, if you don't have A and C, you don't have the correct language anymore for this substitution. Okay. So if you continue, you will have A, B, 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 C, A, B. So on. Every time you repeat, the B will be in two, double of two. Eh? So you have this, C, and so on. So these are the possible sentences that we can form from this substitution here. Substitution where the terminal symbol come from 0 to 9 and include this uh, decimal point. The last one is decimal point, right? And then the non terminal, you have all the words here decimal number, decimal fraction, sign integer, and digit. So for the starting point, we have the decimal number B0 is the starting point. And these are all the substitution for each of them. You can see the decimal number, you can substitute with unsigned integer or decimal fraction, or unsigned integer, decimal fraction, together, these two together. Okay. So we will use the symbol to represent this, UI for this, DF, and DG. So we will use this when we draw the diagram. Huh? They ask you to draw a syntax diagram for this grammar, and after that draw a derivation tree to determine whether this is a synthetically correct decimal number or not. This is what I said just now. You pass through the tree, you can determine this is a grammatically correct or not. Okay? So we will draw the syntax diagram first, follow this substitution. So this we use a DN. Okay, so DN, we can substitute with three alternative, unsigned integer, decimal fraction, or unsigned integer, decimal fraction. So we have three lines.
three combined together. So we have unsigned integer or decimal fraction or unsigned integer decimal fraction together. you have a decimal fraction right the second one here so the syntax diagram is decimal fraction substitute with a decimal point decimal point and sign integer. Third one, unsigned integer can be substituted with digit or digit unsigned. Digit or digit unsigned integer. This question here. Ah. Now the last one is the digit you can substitute with all the terminal symbol which is a 0 to 9. Right? All these are the terminal. So meaning that uh, until the end, right, our answer will only have digit. So this is the syntax diagram and they ask you to draw a derivation tree for the decimal number of 56.84 so you need to try to pass through the tree in order that you will get this 56.84 in your final substitution okay so we will start with the decimal number this one the digit last the last one digit uh, if you substitute with 0 to 9, right, you just draw 9 different lines in the syntax like that. You know how to draw the digit or not?
one the one to nine or another one is zero right all are the alternative from zero to nine for digit then the three diagram so we start with a decimal number and because we want to get this right 56.84 so we need to have a digit here to substitute with 5 another digit to substitute with 6 so in order to have that we need to start from which part here decimal number I need to substitute with unsigned integer or decimal fraction of Sign teacher decimal fraction. Which one do you think? Which part I need to substitute with for decimal number? Unsigned teacher or decimal fraction or unsigned teacher decimal fraction so that I can continue to get the 56.84. If I substitute unsigned integer only, later on I will only can substitute with digit unsigned integer, right? I can't get the decimal point, right? So in order to have a digit at the left and a decimal point in the middle, at the right I have a digit, I need to substitute with unsigned integer decimal fraction, okay? The unsigned integer here, I can substitute with this one, digit unsigned integer. Because if you substitute the unsigned integer with digit only, that means that uh, you will only be able to substitute with one digit only. But now we need to have two, right? So we must have a loop first, digit go back to unsigned integer first. Okay? Then from here, the digit we can substitute with 5. The unsigned integer we can substitute with. So now we get 56 already. Right? The digit substitute with 6 here. But before that, you need to substitute the digit from the unsigned integer first. So, after you have 56, we need to get the decimal point here, point at 4. So, the decimal fraction, we already know it is a decimal point with unsigned integer. So, this side is a decimal, this side is a decimal point. And this side is the unsigned integer. Then you need another two digit, right? So the unsigned integer you need to substitute with. Substitute with what? Unsigned integer, substitute with? Digit, unsigned integer or digit? Which one? Digit unsigned integer first, right? So that you can have two decimal number.
So this is how we get the, yeah. Okay, so the number you get is a 56.84. The question asks, uh, draw a derivation tree for the decimal number 56.84. So you already get this, right? And the question now is, is 56.84.12 a synthetically correct decimal number? What is your answer? Correct or not? Why? No. What is the reason we say not synthetically correct? Every time you need to justify your answer when you say yes or no, right? So, in this case, the decimal number given by this substitution here is only one, correct? Right? So that means no matter how do you substitute, you can only have one decimal point because of the decimal number here can only have a decimal fraction with a decimal point. So once you substitute with a decimal fraction, you can only have one decimal point. No matter how you go through the tree, the most you can have is only one decimal number, right? So that is why we will say that this number is not synthetically correct. This one is no matter which branch we follow up, huh? you will only get one this one. Try that one first. Combine all these three, four. This four syntax diagram in one diagram. Okay? You need a break or not? Yes, sir. Okay, so you take a break now, then later on we'll see how to combine all together. Right? 